Behind me, Alex Holman, Chris Keene, Richard Modalo, Giordana McCagney, Jay O'Grady, and Brendan Quigley, the Boston Typewriter Orchestra. One, two, ready, and... set up? Oh, the, the Fantasy Tax League? Yeah, yeah, your Fantasy Tax League. Yeah, yeah, I, I uh, set it up last night. We had the draft. Uh, my accountant is Manny Nasowski. Excellent. I heard he did good work. He does great work. My CPA is Patrick Berry. Excellent. Uh, person looking over the books, Liz Gorski. I think Excellent. I'm hey, going to be a great year this year. I just set up my, uh, my Fantasy Retirement account. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh, it's going to be excellent. I got my, uh, I draft my Fantasy 401k. And then I got some fantasy stocks and bonds behind it. I'm thinking I'm looking at a pretty good, uh, good fantasy retirement going on. Probably uh, thinking Fantasy Island, maybe. Wow. They're, they're starting a new one. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Adam on the uh, fourth floor in marketing. Yeah. yeah. He's starting a new fantasy occupied Boston league. Wow. Yeah, it's it's going okay. You know, I got some personnel changes. Uh, my veterans for peace guy, he took off, free agent, mercenary. All right. And uh, I also need a new guy in the Che Guevara t-shirt. Oh, all Yeah, right. we lost him. He, he's, uh, he's, so he's on the disabled list. He got maced. Is yeah. Lawrence Lessig available? He's a... Uh, draft him in. You will not be able to stay in the home room, my brother. Able to turn on, tune in, and white out. You will no longer be able to lose yourself on copy and paste and skip out for coffee during meetings. For the revolution, will be typewritten. Black and white will exist in perfect harmony on a letter-sized page. You will no longer be subjugated by the uppercase, or the lowercase will rise when the revolution comes. Alt will no longer be in control. End will go home. Down with Page Up. And all the windows in the world will be broken. You will no longer have to check your kerning in the mirror. The revolution has no backspace key because the revolution is not a mistake. Press C colon. Enter colon. Pound, pound, pound. Huh. Not just an evolution in 140 characters. There will be no pictures of the boss firing interns on the coffee room bulletin board. There will be no pictures of the boss firing interns on the coffee room bulletin board. The revolution will not continue. 
Octane commercial, pre-mercials and post-mercials, the revolution has been brought to you live by your friend and mine, the Umla. The revolution will not come to you as a torrent, a stream, or a podcast. IBM will no longer be a scatological joke, and Dvorak will no longer be a dirty word. When the revolution comes, you will build yourself a barricade out of disused fax machines and overpriced ergonomic chairs, which you will ascend while waving a flag adorned with a photocopy of your own buttocks. When the revolution comes, casual Friday will become pants optional Friday. When archaeologists uncover your remains from beneath the sedimentary strata of whiteout, the revolution will be typewritten. When your faith in total collapse outweighs your faith in technology, the revolution will be typewritten. Your time will no longer be someone else's money. You will no longer have to smile through clenched teeth. You will no longer feel off as smallpox eating away at you like a cancer. For the revolution will be typed. That thing that happened in the supply room closet last Christmas party will cease to be such a big friggin' deal when the revolution comes. For the revolution will not be on Facebook. Will not be on MySpace. Will not be on Twitter. The, the revolution, revolution will be tight. <laughs> Oh, I'm starving. Is there any food left in the break room? I saw a crumb. crumb. Hey, hon. There's a crumb on the... Wait, did no, you, wait, that was wait. a donut did earlier. You, did you get part of the donut in the break room? No. Oh, wait, I, I, had, I had some of it. Z, uh, Zeno's donut, right? Yeah, Zeno's donut. Yeah, I it was had labeled. A, yeah, I had exactly half of it. Excellent. Who's Zeno? Z, Zeno, you know. The, guy the, the, the Greek guy. In the office? No, yeah. Zeno, Zeno's Paradox. Um, you have to explain Z Zeno's, Zeno's, or sorry, Achilles is racing the tortoise, but every time, you know, and every time X, Achilles only goes halfway to pass the tortoise, and so he'll never actually pass the tortoise, he just gets incrementally closer into an ad, ad infinitum, infinitum. You lost me with the tortoise. So, we've been working on this project with a donut. We, got it, we leave a donut in the break room, right? And nobody wants to eat the last donut in a package, in, I, in like I a dozen, so they cut it in half and eat half the donut. And the next person doesn't want to eat that last piece, so they cut in a quarter. And the person after into an eighth and a sixteenth and a thirty-second and a sixty-fourth and a hundred twenty-eighth and a hundred fifty-sixth, you know, powers of two and all. And we've been trying to track the exact point at which the donut transitions from a donut into a crumb. We figured that so so Phyllis up on eight, I think, got one half of one thousand one thousand twenty-fourth of it. And sometime after that point, it made the, made the critical transition. We we're trying to determine the exact point at which that occurs. It's, uh, we were, it's with the R&D guys. It's something like the Manhattan Project, only not with bagels. OK.
Chris, where were you? Yeah, I didn't see you in uh, on Monday. What hey. happened? Me? Oh, I was, uh, it's indisposed. I was hmm. in the basement. Basement? Yeah, I Oh, the sub, the sub basement. The sub basement, the su yeah. Oh. Yeah, it's a bad place to be. Yeah. yeah. Don't it's go really there. really bad. Don't go there. Yeah, I, I was trying to get, uh, I get Phil from the third floor. I needed to give an intro office memo that's the, to uh, him. That's a zero sum sub basement. The zero right? sum sub basement. Yeah. So if one person comes up, another person has to go down. And yeah. So to get to get versa. out, you got to get somebody to get on the elevator and go. Oh, it was on the yeah. end of the day on Friday, and that's there's no one else Friday, coming Friday down. Afternoon. So was, yeah. Yep. That's uh, that's why they leave those granola bars down there in the cabinet. Weird things happen down there. You don't want to know. You know what? They're they're expanding that program actually. The, uh, the zero sum sub basement, they're going to do total uh, zero sum personnel staffing. Oh, so, uh, you one know that, person goes out, another person comes in. Well, you know the, uh, the accident they had over in the, uh, the etching room with Ooh, the acid? The acid. Ooh, yeah, yeah, lost like five good guys there. Ooh, yeah. So, uh, so personnel's putting a team together. Um, I think it's at the boys in the mail room and the secretarial pool. Mm -hmm. They're supposed to make replacements. Oh, they're, how uh, do they do? Oh, yeah. I, uh, yeah. yeah. It's a. Uh, it's not a tiger team, uh, it's a rabbit team, rabbit that's team, what they're yeah. calling it. Project Rabbit. Project Rabbit. Um, if I can take a moment here to uh, break the fourth wall of our third estate here for a second, um, I'd just like to tell you very briefly what, are, what we're playing here. We've, uh, you might notice we have some manual typewriters on our, on our desks. Um, on the far stage left, we have, I believe, an Olympia that's our, our, our only uh, bringing a little uh, purple color to our, uh, to our act. Um, it's a, a portable model that we kind of like for its, its speed and responsiveness. In comparison next to it, we have two Underwood 5s that are desk models not meant to be moved at all. They are exquisite pieces of machinery, excellent key response rate, and a great a subtle, subtle sound to it because there's some, some amazing stuff going on that actually brings the type up to the paper, presses it on with uh, sort of the mechanics of a well-tuned well, well -tuned car, well-tuned machine. I happen to play a slightly older model of the Underwood 5, which I think is probably a good 30 or 40 years uh, predecessor to those models of the Underwood 5. The Underwood 5 has really been a, uh, a, I guess, a workhorse of the typewriter world all, uh, all I'm going to say throughout history because it was long before my time. Um, this again is a fine piece of machinery. We got it in a semi-working condition. I took it out back and beat it on the pavement till the, uh, the carriage was back in place. And it's worked beautifully for the past three years for me. However, it's developed some problems since then that I think the percussive maintenance is not going to, uh, not going to solve at this point. So we're, uh, we're probably approaching the point of retiring my, uh, my beloved old Underwood 5. Um, we're thinking probably some mix between Viking funeral and Irish wake, but I guarantee you there's going to be whiskey, fire, and tears. <laughs> Next to me is, uh, is the Olympia that we're playing. It's another semi-portable desk model. Um, and the next to it, a pair of remettes that we have, which are, are highly portable. Uh, they're designed, I guess, to be a, a briefcase model moving from, uh, from location to location. And playing them is a lot like uh, driving an old British sports car that it's loud, fast, and dangerous. <laughs> hey, has anybody seen the uh, whiteout? Uh, uh, you said uh, whiteout. Oh, they're out of it. What? They're out, the spy closet's out of it. We just Come ordered on, some we last add, week. No, We've got to have some around here. Where's case? it all Somewhere. going? Whiteout! One, two, three. <laughs> da 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 da